whole lives to hunting for aliens. On tonight's premiere episode, we believe we may have just found the most thrilling evidence in alien hunting history. My name is Tyler. And I'm Jacob. And we are the Alien Hunters. On tonight's episode, we will be visiting the South Jefferson Riverways. There have been many claims of sightings down there, and there is even a more recent sighting in the past week. We also have a very special guest on tonight's episode who's actually witness to some of these claims. So can you start by telling us your name? When was your first sighting? March 12th, 2008. And what's recent one? And what do you believe you saw on the first step? Try it. Down by the river, I saw what to be this form to big me blocking my way. Walk out. So I ran as fast as I could. Back. Seems like some people to investigate. I agree. Thank you so much for coming on our show. Ready to head out? Yeah, absolutely. Back here out exploring again on another night. We're at the South Jefferson Riverway. We're actually here because of the uh, interviewee that you guys saw earlier has made some claims that he's seen um, evidence and he has also seen strange beings walking around out here. We're not sure what to expect. We're looking forward to, to getting out and exploring. It's about a mile and a half long. We're going to do a really thorough investigation. Should take us. What's, what you say about an hour and a half, two hours, mm -hmm. two hours give or take. So yeah, let's get after it. Besides uh, the liquid on the ground, it's not water. I haven't seen anything like it. It's milky and it's really warm. Hopefully, we can come across a, couple, a few more you know, art artifacts or something, a sighting, anything. How are you feeling about this trip? I think there's a lot of potential here. I hope so. Let's get back to it. Definitely looks like alien ectoplasm. Dude! You know what that is? Those are eggs, man! Those. I'm gonna cover the more egg. Did you hear that? What? Down the tunnel. Did you not hear that? Hold on, let me, let me back. More ectoplasm. Okay, let me back this up. Let me back these up. Here, hold that, please. Can I have the incubator bag? I knew we'd find some of these one day. This is a good find. Oh, I gotta be careful. We can test some of that ectoplasm too. Is 
something different. You gotta check that out. Oh man, what a find. Yeah, what a find that was. Listen, I, I saw more ectoplasm down there. We need to go check that yeah. out. Yeah. What is that? See oh that? my god. Dude, there's someone on the wall. There's someone on the wall. There's like fingerprints. What the fuck? Is that what you think it is? Is that it? That does not taste like anything I've ever had before. You're definitely right. This is... Do you think that's what... I've never tasted a meat like this before. Do you think that's what we think it is? Well, then we have to take it back to the lab. Can I have the bag, please? Yeah. I don't have my gloves, but it's okay. I can't wait. We gotta get back. Yeah. I can't wait. All right, so we've made it back to the lab to do some tests on the two items that we have found. Uh, most likely. Uh, we're gonna start with this. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run the same solution that we did for the last video. It'll give us an age and the substance that it is made of. We do believe these to be eggs of sorts covered in what appears to be alien ectoplasm. All right. So take the solution. Again, after we drop this on there, we have to wait anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Got to let them sit. Just got to let it soak and... <clears throat> and then for this piece, uh, how are we going to be testing that? Uh, we're going to be using the MRIB um, for this to identify uh, what kind of meat it is. Because um, it's definitely some sort of meat. Um, never seen anything like it before. Alright, so I'll go ahead and put this in the MRIB. run for just a couple minutes so it can analyze every piece of data it can pull from it and give us a really accurate representation again we use top of the line testing we do not skimp out we hold our standards high I, I cannot stress that enough I know we said it last video but we hold our standards high all right so we have let these sit for a little while and we got the data back from the test that we have run on these. They're definitely eggs of an otherworldly creature um, that's not in our database. Um, it's no animal species that we know of that laid these eggs. Um, so we're probably going to have to do further research and further testing and uh, hopefully give you an update in another video about what exactly these are and where they came from. All right, so as you guys heard, the MRIB is actually done analyzing the meat. Uh, we're going to hit you guys with those results here in just a second. The eggs, on the other hand, we're going to go ahead and save for a later date. We are not sure what they are, and we want to give an accurate representation and an answer that is correct. So we'll let those, and we'll run more tests on these in the future. But I'll go ahead and uh, get the meat out now. I'm excited, though. So test results came back, and this is not a meat that is on Earth. This is otherworldly. It's not any species. I don't know really what to say about it. Um, all we can do is run more tests, but I mean, I have my beliefs on what it actually is, and I know what it actually is in my heart. It's a good find. A very good find, best find of our lives. This, this is, is alien. alien.